Hey y'all, this is Miz. Welcome to another Watch Me Work. Hope y'all enjoy it. This is the design we're going for. Let's get it. So we're going to start off using this drill bit. It is a, f a coarse drill bit um, to remove the old design. So we're going to start by removing that. So as you can see here, we are going through. I will say as a side note, I'm not perfect with the drilling yet. However, I am getting better control and learning how to do it. So y'all just bear with me, okay? I'm getting there. Now that the old design has been removed, we're ready to get started. I always clear, start off with my Prep and Clean um, by ASP. It's a dehydrant for your nails. I only put it on where my nail bed is. Um, so I just go around and do that. Um, and then as you can see, I also have No Lift Nails nail primer so that i follow it up as well um so this usually i literally don't deal with any lifting um and i would have to say that these two products for me work very well um and i'm constantly i will say this i'm constantly washing dishes with my bleach water okay so i have no lifting no issues no nothing with even with me doing all of that so today we're using McCart as my um, poly gel. And I've had this that, that color on for a while. Um, I would say for the last two designs, I think it has been. Um, so about at least a month I've had that design. And usually I'll like take them down and then switch it um, to another base. Um, sometimes it just depends on what I'm feeling like. <laughs> Who I'm feeling like will determine which base I'm using or which poly gel I'm going to use. But um, I'm really enjoying this nude natural color. Um, I really like it. So let's get into it, you guys. I You see I put the base coat on, cured that in the light, and then we're going in with the poly gel. I only need a little bit because I don't have much growth. Um, it's been about two weeks. I want to say two weeks since my last um fill so we're going back in with a little bit on each nail y'all fill in is complete shaping is done let's get into the design okay so we're starting with a black um gel polish and this one is in the, in the paint pot um so that's what we're starting with i had to do two coats um as you'll see the first coat is kind of stripy um and not fully opaque like i would want it so we're starting with one coat and then we'll cure and then follow up with the second coat. Um, I showed you quickly. 
how that looked and now we're on to the next finger i am usually making up designs as i'm doing it um i kind of i don't plot it out in advance um i'm usually coming up with it um for this one i actually knew that i just wanted black um but i didn't know like what kind of design i wanted i just knew the color theme that i wanted to use was black and i ended up coming up with this design so <laughs> Um, I like to usually either have a theme in mind or a color. So this one was the color. I am trying out new techniques for striping tape. Um, I will say that this mat did not hold um, up to what I thought it would. Um, I don't know if it, I believe it was my application of the matte top coat um, that encourage this to not hold up i feel like i should have cured with a um just the glossy regular top coat first over that black before putting on the striping tape i probably could have done a base over the black put on the nail striping tape then put on the matte top coat i think that would have done better um it is I will also say for this, this is also a new technique I was doing as well. I, I was mostly trying new techniques for this time. I was challenging myself and trying to do with the nail art foil. Um, I will say that I learned how to better apply it and I needed to cure it longer. So that was my main issue. But honey, I really liked how it turned out. I Even with the spotchiness on um, a couple of my nails, I liked how it looked ripped on, on my nails because it gives it more animalistic features and not being so whole and neat. So, I will say for me, I liked the way this turned out um, because I didn't want it to be absolutely neat and perfect. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this though. Here is the finished product. Let your girl know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys.